lightsabers are one of my favorite sounds, and in fact, it was the very first sound I made for the whole series. For some reason, after I read the script, even though my assignment was first to find a voice for Chewbacca and then a voice for R2, and then, uh, well, maybe come up with some sounds for laser guns and other things, the lightsaber fascinated me. At that time, um, when the script had first come out, uh, they had some paintings that Ralph McQuarrie had done so that there were some concepts visually of what some of these things would look like. And those pictures were very inspiring because they gave a, an idea of the direction we were trying to go and the look of the film. And it was inspiring to me to therefore think up sounds that might fit that kind of visual style. And uh, I could kind of hear the sound in my head of a lightsaber, even though it was just a painting of a lightsaber. I could really just sort of hear the sound. I think maybe somewhere in my subconscious I had uh, s seen a lightsaber before. Um, and I went to, uh, at that time I was still a graduate student at USC, and I was a projectionist. And we had a projection booth with some very, very old simplex projectors in them. And they had an interlock motor which connected them to the system, which when it just sat there and idled, made a wonderful humming sound. And it would slowly change in pitch, and it would beat against another motor. There were two motors, and they would harmonize with each other. And it was kind of uh, that inspiration. Uh, that, that sound was the inspiration for the lightsaber, and I went and recorded that sound. But it wasn't quite enough. It was just a humming sound. What was missing was kind of a buzzy, sparkling sound, the scintillating element which I was looking for. And that I found one day by uh, accident. I was carrying a microphone across the room between recording. I was recording something over here, and I walked over here with the microphone, passed by the television set, which was on the floor, which was on at the time without the sound turned up, but the microphone passed right behind the picture tube. And as, as it did, this particular microphone produced an unusual hum. It picked up transmission from the television set. And uh, a signal was induced into its uh, sound reproducing mechanism. And that was a great buzz, actually. And so I took that buzz, recorded it, and combined it with the projector motor sound. And that 50-50 kind of combination of those two sounds became the basic lightsaber tone, which was then, once we had established this tone of the lightsaber, of course you had to get the sense of the lightsaber moving, because characters would carry it around, they'd whip it through the air, they would, of course, thrust and slash at each other in fights. And um, to achieve this additional sense of movement, I played the sound over a speaker in a room, just the humming sound, the humming and buzzing combined with an endless uh, sound. And then took another microphone and waved it around in the air next to that speaker so that it would come close to the speaker and go away. It would, you would whip it by. And what happens when you do that by recording with a moving microphone is you get a Doppler shift. You get a pitch shift in the sound. And therefore, you can produce a very authentic uh, uh, facsimile of a moving sound and therefore it gave the lightsaber a sense of movement and it worked well on screen at that point. 